Want to know the greatest flaw when dating a partner is in the Philippines? Well, typically, this imperfection doesn't really lie in the relationship itself, but in the judgment and the pressure that we Filipinas receive almost every single day. You have probably heard your neighbors or even your own family say that, Hey, you're so lucky, you'll be rich soon, the moment that they learn that you are dating a foreign guy. This idea is even worse if you are from a family who lives in poverty. There's no way to run away from these speculations. Dating foreign men isn't all about that bad. Of course, it has its own advantages as well. And it's undeniable that foreigners have their way of spoiling Filipino women, like bringing you to the places that you have never been to or eating out in a fancy restaurants and even giving you a better place to live in. Despite these changes in your lifestyle and somehow getting a few inches away from poverty, Filipinas constantly encounter struggles that we have to deal with most of the time. So let's get into detail about each of them, shall we? So the first one is that dating foreigner means you would be lifted out of poverty. Okay, so honestly guys, this is the pressure that we face every single day because this stigma has been ongoing for decades now and it's just irking to think that some Filipinos really believe that just because you are dating someone from another country or race means that you are after their money. First of all, the pressure of being constantly seen as a gold digger even though their money isn't what you are really in for constantly scars your self-perception, right? And your families are not their responsibility. They don't need to help you out. But the moment the word about someone dating a foreigner gets out, some already assume that he would be supporting the whole family financially. <laughs> and it's just so funny, right? And what's other funny is that sometimes even foreigners are as broke as we Filipinos are, you know? And even if the foreigners are loaded with money, let's emphasize the fact that your family is not their responsibility. Yeah, of course, this doesn't end with the financial support assumption since you would probably hear another rumor about your relationship. Like, for example, uh, saying that your foreign boyfriend will get you a 100 square meter house and lot and even a brand new car. <laughs> so it's just so funny because the least of gossip about you and your girlfriend just keep, you know, just keeps on getting better and better each day. However, let's be honest though, despite hearing all sorts of untruthfulty about your life, the pressure and the judgment constantly linger at the back of your mind and at some point, you tend to question yourself too. You may occasionally fear that he would be thinking the same thing. And this brings you to the point wherein you pressure yourself too much to strive harder for yourself and for your family and not make everything seem like you really depend on your foreigner partner. Secondly, it's funny to hear the same judgment even though the woman has a great career. So, why do some of our own think that Filipinos could only succeed with the help of foreign men? So guys, to those with this mentality, you have to grow up. You are not living in the 20th century since women can be capable on their own. And the next pressure that Filipinas experience is marriage or grade card. So you have probably heard about this one already that if you are going to date an American man, some people would assume that you would be migrating to the States as soon as possible and then eventually get a green card despite being in the relationship just for a few weeks or a few months. Honestly, People would never really fail to include this assumption in every conversation wherein you are the main character, where, you know, like you and your Filipino women. And these can be pressuring not just for you as a foreign partner, but also for most Filipinas since the last thing you would want your Filipina to hear is that they are after a US citizen when clearly they are not. Well, other Filipinas maybe, but if you're going to look at the brighter side, there's actually a lot of Filipinas are not really after money and not after green card. So let's talk about the other pressure that Filipinas experience is that Filipinas who date foreigners are desperate. Here's another stereotype that could give you a good laugh for sure. <laughs> because there are very narrow-minded people out there who think that Filipinas 
who date foreigners are so desperate for love. And this struggle is very common since if you are not confident with yourself and you know even with your intentions, then yeah, the negativity from your environment around you may easily rub on you. So here's a question for the viewers out there. Can't women just date whoever it is that they like without seeming desperate? Because you know, as what I've noticed, men can easily court or date any foreign women that they want without really having to be seen in the same light as we Filipinas do. So, why is it that every time women do the same thing, we suddenly become wretched people? Make it more sense. So now, the other pressure that some of the Filipinas feel is that I mean, they are dating a foreigner because they're looking for instant financer. So have you heard your relatives or even your family ask you for money just because you have a foreign boyfriend? Okay, long story short, the moment you fall for a foreigner also means that is the beginning for your own bloodline to start seeing you as someone who bagged a billion dollar man. And yes, they pressure Filipinas into giving them money and gaslighting you into thinking that you are just too greedy to help them out and you want all money for yourself only. When in fact, in reality, you really don't have anything to give. And not just because you're dating a partner doesn't mean you have a lot of money now. And this is a toxic mindset that seems to be engraved in old souls out there. You know what guys, the thing about dating is that you only want to love and be loved. Create a special band with someone and in some cases, tie the knot between the two of you. You know? However, because we are here in the Philippines, the mentality that marrying someone from another race keeps on equating to getting more money, green card, escaping out of poverty or whatever is that. And it's just so insane. It's insane that some relatives that you are not even close with suddenly, you know, come knocking on your door asking if you could lend them some money that you will probably never get back. <laughs> right? So where do they get the courage to do these things? Truth be told, not all foreigners have a ton of money. And even if they do, they don't owe you Filipinas anything to, you know, to give you freely for your family, for your friends or whatever. And yes, that's the reason why everyone or why people often have to cut off their own families. Because, you know, it's a no-brainer. They cannot live a good life with their partners, with their foreign partners, with their significant others treating them like they are a bank account or ATM machine. So let's go now to the next pressure that Filipinas feel when they are dating a foreign man, which is they are getting manipulated and controlled by their parents or their family once they date or marry a foreigner man. Well, surprisingly guys, if there is one thing that some Filipino families and relatives are really good at, it is manipulating a Filipino woman into thinking that you do not love them. They easily put pressure on them by asking ridiculous stuff. And this is actually more common to those who have been dating for a year or longer. And some traditional Filipino families would ask your Filipino partner, why hasn't he asked you to marry him yet? And honestly, being asked once shouldn't really be a big deal. But hearing it twice, thrice, or even more than your fingers could really be displeasing and frustrating right? However, some Filipino women may eventually get engulfed with the pressure of marriage and then she may also overthink things like, what if he doesn't love me enough to marry me? Well, it's not that everyone thinks this way but some Filipinas may easily get manipulated into thinking, overanalyzing things by their own parents or their families. And as unfortunate as this may sound guys, no matter how great your relationship was with her, you may end up calling off your relationship just because of the toxic family that she has. So you see, being a Filipina is both a curse and a blessing. <laughs> because it can be heartwarming and calm boat ride in the river, but it can also get chaotic once the tide rises high. And what I mean by that is that tides from the pressure of toxic family and relatives are one of the key players in ruining a relationship. 
So yeah. And if your partner isn't strong enough to say no to them, then unfortunately it may lead to your relationship falling apart. But hey, do not worry guys because some of these Filipinas have the courage to cut them off or to tell them off. Because this generation really had a knock in calling out and cutting off family members when they got too much. Plus, not all families are toxic in the Philippines. Some would actually treat you like their own without hesitations and ill intentions. At this point, it would feel like hitting a jackpot if you happen to find a Filipina with a good personality and great family ties. Well, it ain't rare. You just really have to be a little meticulous when choosing who you are going to date. Okay, and now that we have got this bucket load of pressure out of your chest, doesn't it feel a little bit better now? Because it seems like this constant issue needs to be really addressed more frequently because some people seem to still not get it. Again, Filipinas date foreign men because they click. They understand each other and genuinely connect with each other. And these presumptions and judgments shouldn't really bother them. But in this channel, I'm just speaking for those who fear the backlash of having a voice is a part of the plan. And that's my plan. Again, this is the reality that it's not just foreigners who experience a different form of pressure, but also Filipino women actually go through the same thing. Here's a friendly reminder that you are free to love whoever you want. You also have the freedom to choose who you want to stay and live in your life. So, you know, you just get a little creative and neat picking who stays in your circle and you don't need a lot of them if they are filled with toxicity, okay? And again, if you are dating a Filipina, you just really have to communicate with them because as what I've said, Filipinas, they don't tell you this, but they are actually full of pressure, especially if their family knows that they are dating a foreigner. So you just have to talk to them and yeah, Anyway, thank you so much everybody. See you to my next video. Bye-bye!